there and welcome to my channel. I'm Allie and today we are doing an interesting sort of combination video. Um, I have a bunch of stuff going on here. This is a mini haul, coupon, first impression, makeup video thing, which is why I've got my face done. Um, and apologies because you're probably going to hear my, my, my neighbor's motorcycle fucking circling the neighborhood. So, yay! Uh, but this is a little Hot Topic haul. I believe these are both Blackheart branded products that I'm going to be testing. But the deal is that I am a Hot Topic VIP because of course I am because every kid who was even kind of goth in the early 2000s went there even though we made fun of it. And I have spent enough at Hot Topic over the years that I now qualify for $2 shipping on all orders and I get a $5 monthly coupon to use for anything. So the deal is that I ordered um, a Blackheart eyeshadow slash highlighter and a Blackheart um, lip feathering pencil thing. These products were each about um, $5 and the combination of my $5 monthly discount, $2 shipping as a Hot Topic VIP, and a sale that they had going on that I found out about because I get their emails, um, meant that these products each cost under a dollar. So this is a teeny tiny little mini haul of Hot Topic makeup that I got for super cheap. And if you are some... Oh, Fuck me. Do you fucking see this? I'm fucking covered in silver glitter. Hot topic. What is going on with your shipping? Oh. Blackheart, is this you? I don't... Fuck. I was hoping to get to test this product on camera. Fuck. This is, I don't, I'm not gonna touch my camera to focus this because this is so bad. This is. Do you fucking see this? Oh my fuck. What the ass? <laughs> I just, I just dropped a giant fucking crumb of that on myself. And like, here's the deal. I know I only paid 78 cents or whatever for this, but I expected to get a fucking product, not what the fuck. This is so smashed and I know I can fix this, but it is such a mess and it is not the mess that I was anticipating having when I opened this box. But you know what? We're still gonna see if we can fucking swatch it. You can see how it looks on my fingers. You can see that that works. And I was gonna use this as a fucking inner corner highlight. Oh my God, silver everywhere. As, as an inner corner highlight and a fucking, uh, <sighs> I can't believe this. Um, as an inner corner highlight and as a, uh, highlighter because I've actually done contouring so that you can get a load of me today uh but I don't know yeah that's fucking highlighting it had goddamn better <laughs> I'm literally picking this up off my tights right now because it fell out all over my lap this is powder all over my fucking lap this video's ruined because of the fucking neighbor my makeup is a fucking sham. What's happening? My battery's dying. This video is not going how I expected it to. So, as an inner corner highlight, this shadow works pretty well. And I'm gonna dip gently into that broken ass pan and give you the most blinding fucking highlight the world has ever seen, apparently. Yep. Because that picked up so much. That picked up so much silver because it is just fucking destroyed. So there you go, I'm becoming a cyborg, which is actually a look 
fair enough, I'm into. And the reason I bought this was because I wanted to use it specifically as a highlighter because I have this um, gray contour makeup look that I do sometimes that I adore. And I think that this would work really great for it. And you can obviously see, yeah, there's a shitload of highlight going on there. And let's try to do a little bit on my nose. Oh, it's too bright, too bright there. And wipe the moisturizer off my lips. And a little bit of Cupid's Bow highlight. Yeah, no, that on my nose makes me look like the Tin Man, but fucking whatever. I cannot fucking believe how fucking destroyed that is. No, no. Okay, so that was the Blackheart eyeshadow. I can't even tell what fucking color this was supposed to be. I could try snapping it closed and reading the back. I've got silver fucking powder everywhere. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is... Do you fucking see this? I'm gonna have to fucking decontaminate my goddamn garage. Like, my fingers are completely fucking silver. It looks like I've... This other fucking box is completely fucking silver. My lap is completely fucking silver. That thing was shattered and got everywhere. And it's on my fucking... <laughs> Fuck. Fuck, I'm sparkly all over the place and I only wanted to be sparkly on my cheeks. Okay, so this next product is an ombre lipstick thing and the deal is you're supposed to line in fucking purple and then feather into nude and I don't know how this is gonna work because my fingers are completely fucking silver. Now I just want to tear this box open and have my day start over. I was lounging in bed reading with the puppy, everything was great. Suddenly it went to hell. Um. I mean, it's of course not that bad. I'm, I'm being dramatic for you too. Okay, so this is the purple lip liner in this thinner lip end. And I'm pretty shit at lip liner. I'm pretty shit at lipstick in general. This is why I tend to stick with like liquids because it's just like, nope, nope, just go wherever you're gonna go. But let, silver, inside my mirror, by the way. Let's give this a go. Liner's going on really easy, which I like a lot. And I'm going to go within the liner so I've got something to work with while feathering the opposite color. And this other end is a nude-ish um, lip crayon. So I'm going to go the other direction and I'm going to add just little touches of the liner into the center to try to get a more even ombre. This is a good nude for me, just as a nude. Like if I was to totally skip the liner, I think this is a decent. I mean, that's not bad for me. Fair. Okay, so I'm gonna move my... I really don't want to touch my fucking camera with my silver hands. But I'm gonna. For the views. I'm so sorry, baby. Okay. Focus, focus, focus. If I only touch these two points, it'll be okay. So first off, again, silver fucking hands. Not too much going on there, not too many dots. And so you can see kind of the inner corner highlight being really bright, the exterior highlight being really bright. I know this isn't ideal lighting for it. We're gonna come in even closer and get a look at how the ombre on this lipstick works. I should probably wear my glasses for that so I can see when it's in focus. So that's a product that actually works pretty well. I'm pretty happy about it. Um, 
Okay. I am super upset that my sanctuary eyeshadow came in looking like this. That it was broken in the packaging and it is completely fucking shattered. And you're gonna get to see the fucking wonderful fallout maybe when I open this, but yeah. That's how I opened this. <sighs> Silver everywhere. Dusting it off my pants, spreading it around a little more so that I don't get too much of it on my camera when I focus. It is a super effective fucking highlighter. And again, the inner corners were just fucking black before and I did not have any highlight on. I like the gray look that it's giving me. It feels very cyberpunk. It's too much on the end of my nose, but I like it on my Cupid's bow. Um, but that's exactly the sort of thing that I would wear to like, I live in LA, I'm close to Dust Bunker, I would go to 90s goth club with this sort of look. But um, I'm really disappointed that that came in broken. Again, I know I only paid 79 cents for it and there are no returns, no refunds, though I don't know, maybe I should call Hot Topic and be like, what the fuck? Um, I know that their customer service is pretty good, so maybe I'll call and I'll say like, this came in fucking shattered. Um, but I do actually really like this Blackheart uh, lip product. I like Blackheart. I know it's a like cheaper goth brand and whatever, but I like their colors. I like I mean, this eyeshadow that I'm wearing is just the fucking Blackheart black eyeshadow. And I like it a lot. It goes on really easy. Um, and this is a good lip color. I like it and I like it for me. But um, anyway, <laughs> I've got to go clean up all this dust and figure out how I'm gonna get my fucking camera taken apart so I can swap the lenses without getting fucking eyeshadow on everything. Oh my god. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you're interested in seeing more. Uh, comment if you like seeing the makeup testing product review videos. Um, I haven't done very many of them, but if you like the makeup reviews and things like that, I could do more of that. Even though I don't particularly like doing makeup and I don't do it very frequently. But um, yeah, thanks for watching, like and subscribe, comment about makeup stuff, and uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye!